One of the nice feature which we can add to our application is indicator or progress bar and it will show when our page is loading. So I am going to use a package called end progress and end progress is going to show a very very thin bar on top of the page when we try to load the page as you can see and then when it's finished it will have gone away. So let's just add end progress.js to our project. So I'm going just to close this one and easily install npm install end progress. In the meanwhile, we're going to download page and we need the CSS file. I'm going to grab the CSS as you can see. Also, the GitHub has the same things. So anyway, let's just go to the raw. I'm going to just copy the CSS all the way down, come to our project in a CSS, I'm going to just create a file in progress, progress.css and save all of them here. Let's run our server. npm run dev. So we need to add this CSS file in our head because we need to call it anytime we need. So I'm just going to easily copy this line and here I'm going to just call it in progress. So now that we have it in a head, we also need to make sure whenever we change the route, our end progress fires. So if I go to page, page, I believe it's a good place to put them because we are using the page in every single page we have, page component. So I'm going just import it first thing first. And so we need two things. One is the next router and end progress. So let's just import quickly both of them. It is next dash router uh, slash router. So now that we have the page running, still we don't see anything because we haven't start our end progress. In order to do that, we need just to find out when a route is changing. So I'm going just to say route dot on route change. If I can type change. So okay, when the change start, we are going to let's just call it arrow function. So when we're doing that, let's just console log for now. Console dot log on route change start triggered and we need to start the end progress. So let's see it then. I am going to just refresh the page and go to console. I'm in, a, I'm in a console, go to about, because we change it triggered, we change it again, it's triggered. And also we need to say when the change has been completed. So I'm just going to copy this one. And again, on route change and uh, change complete. So we are just going to copy this with again. Paste it here and then we need to end the end progress. So I'm going to click here, trigger start, trigger complete. Also, we need to make sure if there is any error, we need to do the same things as complete. So I'm going to just paste it here, change error. 
and we can say error triggered simple and so I'm going to home I'm going to about so there is no error anyway so in order to start end progress is very simple all we need to do so and progress dot start and if you're going to finish it and progress dot done the same applies here so now if you just go to the home page we have the blue bar on top which shows that we are loading something which is much better then so if i go to read more so it is showing that one i come back to about you see we have the read more every time but we have indicator in, on a login page that's something a little bit annoying so we can stop it if we go here and with the setting we can easily uh, add just to just to make sure we don't show that one that indicator on the top top of the page so i'm going just to copy this one the loading spinner so we can easily paste it here and now if i go to the home page home page about home page you don't see the spinner anymore there is nothing there so i am going to just close this one so now this is what we have so instead of just changing it in a page which make totally make sense we can just put it in a next.config file and from there we can just have the ability to uh, just modify the configuration which we're going to do it in the next video